It's time to beat the starting five for your Charlotte Hornets. The big man, 64 inches. Number 10, Andrew Lumha. Number 30, Dylan Woods. The other forward at six foot six inches. Number nine, RJ Barrett. At shooting guard, six feet four inches. Number 27, Jamal Murray. Starting at the other car. At six foot six inches. Number two. Shay Gilgis Alexander. All right, everyone. Greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. And tonight, it'll be the Chicago Bulls going up against the Charlotte Hornets here at Spectrum Center. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Allie LaForce with us on the sidelines. And a look at the starters for the Bulls. They've got Nikola Jokic, and it's Stojakovic in at the three slot. And for the Hornets, they've got Dylan Brooks, Jamal Murray out there with Shea Gilgis Alexander. Then it's RJ Barrett, and it's Nimhard in at the five, roaming the paint. No shortage of speed on the court tonight, Clark. Both of these teams can do damage on the break. And I don't know anybody who loves basketball that doesn't love this kind of matchup. Get your track shoes on and keep your head out of the popcorn. They're getting up and down in windshield wiper fashion. And it's going to be the Bulls off the tip. Yo, that's up on Don. Here's Petrovic, defended by Murray. Petrovic passes to Doncic. Goes back up. He can't get that one to fall. Ooh, some solid defense from Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Barrett. With a nine-footer. And that's off the glass and in. Just how you draw it up. That's a look they'll take every time. Doncic against Gilgis Alexander. Doncic outside. Here's Petrovic. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. If you ask me, I think Petrovic is clearly one of the best three-point shooters in the world. So good from deep. Gilgis Alexander feeling it out a bit. Up and over Doncic. A nice shot by Gilgis Alexander. You want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. Doncic on the wing. Gilgis Alexander defending. Gilgis Alexander against Doncic. From nine feet out. And the shot goes in. A gifted score. Luke is going to find a way to get the shots up that he wants to take. Gilgis Alexander passes to Demart. Floats one, and down it goes. Two points. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you gotta love that action. Pass to Divac. Now Doncic. Over Gilgis Alexander. And Chicago again with a bucket. Amongst the best passing centers in the game, Divac always knows where to move the rock. Gilgis Alexander against Doncic. Gilgis Alexander passes to Murray. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at six. Bulls foul. Draws in Petrovic. First personal foul. First team foul. Brooks outside. Pass to Murray. 
Five to shoot. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic for Chicago. They've gone three of five here in the opening quarter. And Grant, a positive for the Bulls over the last few seasons. They work hard to get good shots. Well, B.A., that's definitely part of their DNA. They've had the personnel to do it, and guys who are disciplined and patient. Charlotte trailing. Nimhart, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. The steal! Now here's Doncic. He's closely guarded. Pass to Dibats. Played it in with a nice Lying touch off the window. Dibats doing work in the paint, just too strong. And Barrett has got the ball here for Charlotte. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Jokic. He's scoreless. 11 feet out. Here's Doncic. Nails the baby hook. Doncic typically is matched up against guards or wings, yet with his size, they have trouble keeping him off the board. Doncic against Gilgis Alexander. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. Chicago has gone one of two from three-point land so far. Here's Stoyakovich, guarded by Barrett. Here's Doncic. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Clark, when you talk about Doncic, he came into the league with a ton of experience under his belt. Yeah, and I think people undervalue the experience of being a pro at the age of 16. It wasn't the NBA, but it's still professional basketball that he played in Europe. And that seasoning and that competition and that being refined in the fire allowed Doncic to step into the NBA unfazed. Luka Doncic is a superstar in this league, and he continues to build on what is going to be some kind of resume when it's all said and done. Has every tool that you need to have to be an MVP one day. First personal foul, second team foul. Nimhart, the pass to Brooks. Here's Murray. Fires for three. Fires in the triple. This is Murray's game. A shoot-first combo guard. He's ready to fire as soon as he has it. Pass to Jokic. Now Doncic. Here's Petrovic. Sinks it from distance. Petrovic has got six points. And boy, has this been a competitive matchup thus far. <laughs> These teams have swapped leads seven times already. So we're not even in the second half. Here's Nimhart. Brooks outside. The three is up. And the Hornets, another three. Yeah, put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Now here's Doncic. He's got seven. He takes it in. Yes, it's good. He's got nine. Doncic is able to blow by opponents and make them pay. Even though he's not the greatest athlete, he's sneaky quick. Pass to Nimhart. Murray with it. Here's Nimhart. Outside Murray. Beyond the arc. Nails it from beyond the arc. Boy, the defense has to respect Murray's range. I mean, there's a reason he's a volume three-point shooter. Jokic with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. From the arc. And it's Jokic. That time on the assist from Doncic. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now here's Murray. Six points for him. Jokic grabs the board. Well, you got to miss sometimes, but that one seemed like a gimme. From deep three-point land, Petrovic shot is off. 
Would you say testing the limits of his range there? You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Outside Merritt. Pass to Murray. Five on the clock. They set a pick. There's the three. Chicago grabs the miss. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Ooh. Petrovic passes to Doncic. Here's Stojakovic. From outside, off the mark. For Charlotte, they've gone a fantastic 8 of 11 so far. Brooks from outside. Can't get a second shot to fall. Now one of two. Chicago's gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Doncic on the wing. Defended by Murray. Pass to Stojakovic. To the middle. Here's Divac. And he converts the layup. Divac's gotten his second bucket of the game. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Gilgis Alexander against Doncic. Gilgis Alexander shot is good. An exceptional finisher. And some contact like that won't stop Shea completely. Pass to Stoyakovic. And the foul called on R.J. Barrett. That's his first foul of the game. Lyles, he's checked in for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Substitution on the court. Here's Kirilenko. Brooks defending. Here's Divac. Pass to Kirilenko. Clock at six. And here's Jokic. Ten feet away. Fades away. The rebound by Nemhard. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. Now here's Murray. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's Doncic, and Doncic hammers it home. The assist, Luka, with Andre. so many physical gifts, taking flight right there. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. I think when his coach looks at Andrew Nimhart, he sees lots of potential there, Grant. Oh, yes, he does, B.A. And for a second-round pick in 2022, he's been a steal. A pure point with size at 6'5", that enables him to play at either guard spot. Charlotte making some changes. Powell, he's checked in for Barrett. Dort comes in for Brooks. And it's Alexander Walker in for Nimhart. Now here's Murray. He's got six. Here's Dort. Back to Alexander Walker. Six on the shot clock. Up and over Doncic. Alexander Walker with the bucket. And they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. Here's Doncic. He's got 11. Dort with it to the paint. Here's Lyles. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Hornets. They've been in rhythm from the in-between area. Just keeping things simple and taking what the D gives them. And, you know, in no time at all, they've also started finding points inside. Already taking apart that interior defense. Clark, when it comes to Charlotte, their roster skewed to the young side for a few seasons now. And that lack of experience is part of the reason they've struggled for a while now, B.A. Young teams inevitably must go through growing pain. Charlotte's had a tough time finding stability. Maravich with the bucket. Luka's peripheral vision off the charts. Get wide open and he's going to find you. Outside Murray. Oh, he trains the three and he'll go to the line for one more. That one on Doncic. ACL injuries are always a scary thing in this league, Clark. It sidelined Jamal Murray for a full 18 months. So tough for a player to lose that kind of time, B.A., but Murray really is a tough guy. And he focused on his recovery and was able to make a strong return to the court. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot.
free throw drops from Murray. On the floor, Murray is electrifying. I mean, he delivers relentless effort, and it keeps his whole squad energized and engaged. Pass to Doncic. Fires the three. They get it back. Great anticipation off the missed shot. Oh, his timing was impeccable. And if you're the defensive team, it just kills you to give up baskets like that. Now here's Murray. He's got 10. Jumps up. And Doncic with the jam. It always seems like Doncic is playing with something to prove. Well, I'll tell you what. He's proving plenty tonight. Murray inside. Guarded by Doncic. Murray, no good. And for Chicago, they're shooting at around 59%. Their offense is clicking right now. That one's good by Stoyakovich. You know, Paige is such a great shooter. You've got to run him off of his jump. On the wing, Murray, guarded by Doncic. Pass to Alexander Walker. Looking to win the run. Doncic pulls down the board. Doncic has got four rebounds now. Here's Marovic, and there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Pistol Pete, oozing with natural talent. But behind the scenes, he puts in a lot of work, too. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Bulls. They've really been disruptive on the defensive end, forcing turnovers and turning those turnovers into points at the other end. And not only that, you like how they're turning defense into offense, forcing turnovers and capitalizing. And he knocks down the first one. And you watch Charlotte. Boy, they play with pace, Grant. Oh, B.A., they tend to get a lot of shots up. Heavy volume team. But when those shots are falling, they can compete against anyone. Gilgis Alexander's checked in for Charlotte. And the Bulls also making a change. Nikola Vucevic is checked in for Jokic. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Dort with it, guarded by Vucevic. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Powell sets a screen. Gilgis Alexander passes to Powell. Pass to Nowitzki. Back to Doncic. Three-pointer. The Hornets pull it in. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. On the wing, Alexander Walker. He drops it from range. Alexander Walker's got five now. I love it. Just thumbing his nose at the height disadvantage. He's able to get the space he needs and convert. And you look at him, he's given up an awful lot of size in that matchup, so he needs to have the ability to create separation. Oh, what a performance by Luka Doncic. He has been the story for the Bulls. His fingerprints were all over that quarter. 13 points, leading the charge. Back to the game after this break. If you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen here from the Bulls tonight? Well, clearly they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. Charlotte has gone 5 of 8 from outside the three-point line on this one. Shea Gilgis-Alexander is out there with Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Then it's Trey Lyles. Then there's Dwight Powell. And it's Dort in at the small forward position. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. 
Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Dragic. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. There's so many facets to SGA's game. He's equally good from all three levels. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. Nowitzki's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Pass to Alexander Walker. Inside. Here's Dort. Now Gilgis Alexander. And out of bounds. It'll be Chicago ball. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, R.J. Barrett, the third overall pick in the 2019 draft, still a long way away from his prime. He said, quote, people think you should make this huge leap out of nowhere. And it's like if you just add one or two things to your game and just get better every year steadily, you are going to get where you want to go, whether it comes right away or it comes later. Brian? Allie, thanks. Two open that time. Made it look easy. And now a five-point Chicago lead. He'll take that shot every chance he gets, so you've got to jump on Stoyakovich there. Back to Gilgis Alexander. SGA showing off the athleticism there. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look. And that's exactly how you draw it up. That one's good by Stoyakovich. The combo card skill set of Maravich really does a nice job of drawing defensive attention and then passing to teammates. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 12. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It goes on Goran Dragic. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throw. Shane Gilgis Alexander. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And Grant, you talked about it early in your playing days, blaming yourself for the Pistons not winning. Talk about that pressure on the best player to deliver wins. Well, B.A., the pressure is real, and it's tough to keep perspective and just control what you can control. When you're tasked with leading a team to victory, you expect it first and foremost from yourself. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Pass to Petrovic. Let's go with a three. That won't fall. He's just two of five in this one. Down low. Here's Alexander Walker. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got three assists in the game. Gilgis Alexander against Dragic. Here's Kirilenko. Bulls need to get off a shot. Here's Dragic. Now pulls it in. With well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy, love seeing that kind of intensity. Dort, the pass to Alexander Walker. To the inside. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Over Dragic. And Gilgis Alexander missing. You got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Ah, nice shot by Kirilenko. A superb playmaker. The veteran Dragic knows it's his responsibility to get his guys going through his passing. Powell finds Dort. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Over Dragic. Taking it inside. SGA. Shot after shot. The defense seems helpless against Gilgis Alexander. Dragic against Gilgis Alexander. Dragic passes to Stoyakovic. Over Dort. That one's good by Stoyakovic. Stoyakovic has got 11. Good decision making. Scopes the situation. Puts the pass right on the mark. Lyles the screen. From deep. And it's Chicago with the board. Here's Stoyakovic. He's got 11. Vucevic, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. To the paint. And the layup is good. And now it's a six-point Bulls lead. 
And there's a reason why guys love playing with Dragic. Just an unselfish player. Now here's Dort. He's covered closely. Outside Gilgis Alexander. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Chicago has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Dragic outside. Pass to Stoyakovic. Hits a three-pointer. 14 points for him. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long-distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Here's Alexander Walker. He's got seven. Lyles, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Again, the miss by the Hornets. Chicago leading. Here's Stoyakovich. 14 points for him. The shot. And Chicago again with a bucket. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. 16 points for him. To stop the drought. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. I love when Gilgis Alexander looks to score because it forces the defense to act. At the line, ball two. Shane Gilgis Alexander. And the first one at the line is good. Yeah, what's special about Gilgis Alexander is how shifty he is, which also makes it so tough on defenses. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Chicago has got it going from distance in the second quarter. Four of five from deep. Kicks it to Doncic. Here's Stoyakovich, guarded by Barrett. Jokic passes to Stoyakovic. Kukoc had a miss there on the triple. For Charlotte, they've gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Well, Grant, for R.J. Barrett, he pretty much knew he was going to be an NBA player. Oh, B.A., he sure did. And the number one prospect out of high school in Florida in 2018. Did his one and done in college at Duke and followed it up with the number three overall pick. And he has definitely delivered. Luca, Get off me! And that's the weight room strength of Doncic right there. Fully displayed. Gilgis Alexander passes to Barrett. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Barrett's got seven points in the game. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Here's Petrovic. Give him eight points now. And Jokic throws it down. Well, you got to do more than that to stop Jokic. I mean, this guy is a master at converting through tough defense. Here's Barrett. Chicago grabs the miss. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. And there's a pick. Gilgis Alexander against Doncic. Tips it. Great positioning on the putback. Nine points in the game. Savvy size, length, strength, touch. Jokic, a low down on the blocks. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. 18 points for him with the seven-footer. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. First personal foul. And the third team foul. At the line for your Hornets, Dylan Brooks. Shoot two. two shots. First 
first one falls for him. The Hornets making a switch here. Lyles is checked in. And Brooks drops them both. You have to respect Brooks' approach to the game. He's always looking for little ways to improve and wants every year to be his best. Pass to Jokic. Here's Petrovic. Give him eight. Here's Nowitzki for three. Just five on the clock. Here's the three. And Petrovic gets it to go. Petrovic. Petrovic has got five points now this quarter. Boy, love how Petrovic keeps his eyes on the rim. Great focus. And because of it, defense can't do a whole lot else to stop him. Here's Lyles. Again, the miss by the Hornets. Kevin, you can understand the shot selection. I mean, he wanted to go back at him, and this came up short on the triple. Maravich, the pass to Doncic. And he's going for the lob. Oh, Brooks with the steal. Outside Barron. High arcing shot. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. Such a gutsy player. Barrett takes on challenging defenders in style and stays in control. Doncic passes to Maravich. To the left wing. Puts up a three. Count that one. He's now five for eight. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Defense the Bulls. Here's Nimhart. Brooks outside. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. A throwback wing. Dylan Brooks is very comfortable working down low. Doncic outside. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Not sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open from deep. Now Brooks. He has seven. Drives to the hoop. Chicago grabs the miss. Stoyakovic has got four rebounds now. Here's Doncic. Two minutes remaining. Oh, Luka throwing that weight around in the paint. Boy, calm and collected Doncic. inside. Doncic's is scoring ability. Wide range. 
There's a minute 47 left to play in the first half. Murray from outside, and there's the call on Dylan Brooks. Dylan Brooks. That's his first foul of the game. Ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Doncic against Murray. Here's Jokic. In the paint. Jokic going off. Really hard to move Jokic off the blocks. He's tough down there. Charlotte has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Brooks, the pass to Demart. Here's Murray. And that one goes. He's shooting five of nine in this one. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Pass to Petrovic. This one for three. Hornets with the rebound. There's 53 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Here's Nimhart. And here's Murray. Six to shoot. Nimhart, the pass to Barrett. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Murray against Doncic. There's 25 seconds left in the first half. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Barrett. Charlotte has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Now here's Murray. Guarded closely. Pass to Nimhart. Lyles a screen. Shoots it from the high post. Fantastic defensive instincts, encouraging signs of progress from Jokic. And so it's Chicago going into the break up 12. How about the way they've attacked the paint? This throwback approach is paying off. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. gap on the scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. Boy, really an incredible game here from Luka Doncic. 
Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him, body him up, be physical with him. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Second half underway. Here's who Billy Donovan's got on the floor. They've got Luka Doncic. And it's Stojakovic in at the three. Now here's Doncic. Pass to Petrovic from deep three-point range. Oh, swiped away. Back to Doncic. And here's Jokic. It's rebounded by Barrett. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, the Hornets are trying to work their way up. Coach Steve Clifford said, the whole thing that you want to try to create in any season is finding ways to get better every day. You have to be able to handle frustration just like you handle success. I'm proud of the way they've hung in there and the attitude that we've had about it. Brian? Yeah, you can see him building, Allie. Thank you. Dante, because he's so skilled and so savvy, he does a nice job forcing the defense into tough spots when they're guarding. First team foul. Shooting for Chicago. Luka Doncic going to the line, shooting two. Shooting two. That's good from Doncic. Hits both from the stripe. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Gilgis Alexander against Doncic. SGA working through contact inside. You're making it look easy. Gilgis Alexander is so skilled. The ball on a string. We see him do this time and time again. Petrovic passes to Doncic. Jokic with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Just five to shoot. The three is up. The triple goes for Jokic. What's really cool about Jokic is that he's just as effective working off the ball. He's ready to shoot when he catches it. You know, we hear the term point forward a lot. Clark, is it fair to call Nikola Jokic a point center? I don't have any issues with the B.A. I mean, he facilitates as a big guy with the ball in his hands like a guard at times. So point center works, but he's more than that. He's your two-time MVP is what he is. Now here's Doncic over Gilgis Alexander. Off target with a jump hook. Pass to Nimhart. Second half of play here. We're just under two and a half minutes past. Gilgis Alexander on the wing, guarded by Doncic. Doncic against Gilgis Alexander. Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. And Doncic has got the ball here for the Chicago Bulls. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Petrovic passes to Doncic. Here's Divac. Back to Doncic. Jacks up a three. Oh! Luka magic! You cannot give Luka any space out beyond the arc because he'll make you pay every time. And the Hornets call time here. You know, one guy who's been getting it done is Luka Doncic. I mean, he's getting to the rack all game, and if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night.
Gilgis Alexander against Doncic. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Shot clock at six. There's a screen. Basket's good. Gilgis Alexander's got six here in the quarter. And the D can't allow Gilgis Alexander to get this positioning because once he does, he makes you pay. Gilgis Alexander against Doncic. Can't get it to drop. Ooh, some solid defense from Gilgis Alexander. And slam jumped by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander lifting off and hammering it down with all he's got. Doncic passes to Stojakovic. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Doncic has got six assists now in the game. the wing Murray 15 points in the game offensive board well that's finishing the defense there he made a good effort on that possession defensively and then closed it out with the rebound Petrovic passes to Doncic pass to Jokic it's rebounded by Barrett Barrett's got four rebounds now Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Murray with it. Buckets. He's now 6 of 10 from the field. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Now here's Doncic. He's got 25 from downtown. Stojakovic, no good. Yeah, and the defense really respects his shooting ability, and they showed it with that tight coverage. Pass to Murray. 4-3. Sinks it again. That's his seventh made field goal in 11 tries. And his perimeter shooting might be the key to trimming their deficit. I don't think there's any question about it. I mean, as long as he keeps knocking them down, they might as well keep going back to the well. No reason to let it run dry. Keep firing that thing. Petrovic. Soft touch off the glass. Petrovic has got 16 points now. Good play call and good execution. The offense timeout, running timeout. on all cylinders. Charlotte. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Gilgis Alexander. Outside Murray. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Clock at six. Up and over Doncic. And Gilgis Alexander missing. And it's Jokic with the ball for the Chicago Bulls. Here's Stojakovic. 18 points for him. And here's Doncic outside. No good on the shot. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Outside Barrett. Pulls it in from the elbow. That one rolls around and rims out. Chicago's gone two for five from three since halftime. Here's Stojakovic. Here's Petrovic, defended by Murray. Now the Hornets moving it up. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander gets the bucket on the breakaway. Recognizes the fast break opportunity and takes full advantage. Gilgis Alexander has a solid feel for the game. Pass to Jokic. And they double up Jokic. 
Here's Stojakovic. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Stojakovic has got five points now in the quarter. Kilgis Alexander against Doncic. Outside Gilgis Alexander. The three, Barrett. It's rebounded by Divac. The Bulls have gotten five of 12 shots to drop in the third. Petrovic passes to Jokic. Here's Petrovic. And he gets that one. Petrovic has got 18 points in the game. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Yeah, that one's good. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. Boy, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. So good at getting to his spots and then cashing in, making the game look easy. Charlotte has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Pass to Murray. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. There's the triple. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. Yeah, unnecessary. I mean, make them earn those points from deep. Don't give them to them free at the line. Shay Gilgis. Alexander. And he's good on the first of three. Dort, he's checked in for Nimhart. And a change for the Bulls. Bogdanovich is checked in. And he sinks the second. Makes it, and he continues to shoot well from the line. And so here is Chicago. Jokic with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Jokic finds Doncic. Who poked away? Oh, Jokic hammers it home. And right now, Jokic has it going on. He's doing whatever he wants to out there. Doncic against Gilgis Alexander. the screen. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. And Jokic picks him up defensively. Yep, that one's good. Just straight tricking the defender with the shot fake. This is how it's done. Murray against Bogdanovich. Pass to Stoyakovich. Fires the three. That falls. Nice feed from Jokic. Jokic has got his fourth assist in this one. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. To the middle. Here's Dort. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Dort's got his first points of the game. And clearly Dort knows how to operate inside, making his way to a high percentage shot. Doncic against Gilgis Alexander. The three. Doncic, no good. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Pass to Dort. Inside. Here's Barrett. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. Yeah, an amazing find. How about the patience from Dort? Waits for his man to get open and feeds him. Here's Jokic. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Bulls. 
where you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving, good shot to great. That's winning basketball. They've also found a lot of shots at the arc in this one and allowing their good shooters to tee it up. And he drops the first. Well, Jokic is a true point center because he can do it all. He'll lead the break at times. He's one of the most unique talents in the NBA. And the Hornets making a change here. Powell's checked in. And that's good as he hits both shots. And it's Murray with the ball for Charlotte. Trailing by 10. With some arc. Yep, count it. Murray's got seven now in this quarter. Using the soft touch, Murray rainbows it up and down. Tries it from 16. Nowitzki, that one's good. And the Bulls lead by 10. And he couldn't get an easier shot. The defense right now just looks defeated. Well, that's exactly the kind of defense that's gotten them into the hole. Gilchis Alexander sinks a big one. Yeah, and Gilchis Alexander is a fighter. Someone that challenges the defense and bullies his way through contact. Here's Nowitzki. He's got five. And the layup is good off the glass. Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got seven points in the game. And staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has to tighten up. And if it doesn't, this is only going to get ugly. I mean, that's no way to defend a player of his caliber. Dort has really improved this part of his game. Would love to see him shoot more often from out there. Dragic outside, down low. Launches it. Nowitzki, that one's good. He's got 10. <laughs> this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. And so it's the Chicago Bulls earning this break in the action. Up 10. Hey, three points is better than two. They built this lead by tacking on that extra point at the end of possessions. We'll be right back with you shortly. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And the Bulls shooting has been tremendous. 63% for the game and scoring with confidence. Dwight Powell out there with Trey Lyles. Then there's Jamal Murray. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Dort in at the three, the small forward. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. Pass to Dragic. Now here's Jokic. Just four to shoot. The three. And Powell is a really reliable defender. I mean, he's excellent using his length and his quickness to throw shooters off. Dragic passes to Jokic. Out of bounds. It'll be Hornets ball. The Bulls making a switch here. Coming on to the floor for the Bulls, number 41, Dirk Nowitzki. And it's the Hornets with the ball. It's a 10-point game. Powell outside. Pass to Murray. And they double up Murray. 
Here's Lyles. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his fourth assist in this one. Out to the right wing. Here's Kukoc. The three ball on target from range. Kukoc has got his first three points of the game. Such a savvy passer. Jokic is patient and gets quality openings for his teammates. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Inside, shot clock at five. Here's Powell. Good D by Jokic. Chicago's gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. And they double up Jokic. Takes a three. Pass to Kukoc. To the paint. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by Lyles. Lyles has got five rebounds in the game. Dragic against Gilgis Alexander. To the inside, Murray. Rebound by the Bulls. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Now here's Dragic. Now covers. And the basket by Dragic. And I respect the craftiness and savvy of Dragic. I mean, when he gets positioned deep inside, he finds a way to score. To the middle. Here's Powell. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Honestly, I don't know how he pulled that off. And that was not a soft foul he had to get through. I mean, he had to really power that one up and in. R.J. Barrett, he's checked in for Murray. At the line for one, wide falls for Powell. The length and mobility of, of Powell is, is really impressive. He's a solid big guy who I think continues just to get better at both ends. Now here's Jokic. And there's a whistle. That'll belong to Shea Gilgis Alexander. That'll be a second foul of the game. Second personal foul. First team foul. The pass to Bogdanovich. Got it. Good job in the low post. Bigger than your average guard, Bogdanovich is 220 pounds. He can win some battles there inside. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Barrett. Six on the shot clock. From 10 feet away. And Maravich pulls it down. For Chicago, they've gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Over Barrett. And he gets the bucket. And the Bulls lead by 14. The Hornets have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Powell sets a screen. Left side, Gilgis Alexander. There's that man, Gilgis Alexander. So tough to contend with his quickness. Second team back. At the line for your Hornets. Shea Gilgis Alexander. That free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. And the Bulls making a change here. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Here's Maravich. Pass to Jokic. Bogdanovich on the wing. Inside. Here's Maravich. Let's the three fly. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Jokic has got assist number eight here already in the game. 
Outside Barrett. Takes the 12-footer and hits it. Yeah, look at Barrett being resourceful on offense. Not passing up those mid-range shot opportunities. Maravich, the pass to Jokic. Five on the clock. Tries a 10-footer. Jokic, great focus. Boy, his ball handling skills for a guy of his size and the creativity he plays with. Just remarkable when you watch Jokic do his thing. Outside Barrett. Powell sets a screen. Barrett with it. Back to Gilgis Alexander. No good on the triple. Jokic passes to Bogdanovich. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Lou Dort picks one of them. And credit to Bogdanovich for not giving up there. He gets a shot off and wins a foul for his trouble. Bogdan Bogdanovich Shoot two. At the line for two. off on the first. They're one of the more consistent scorers in the NBA. Bogdanovich is an asset for this team. So for the Hornets, Nimhart, he's checked in for Dort, and Murray subbed in for Powell. He hits the second from the line. And so it's Gilgis Alexander with it. He brings it up for Charlotte. They trail by 16. Up and over Doncic. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Outside Bogdanovich. Vucevic, a screen on Murray. A good look from Bogdanovich. Hornets with the rebound. Lyles has got six rebounds now in the game. Nimhart, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Murray is doubled. Here's Nimhart. Outside Barrett. Again, the miss by the Hornets. Chicago's got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Doncic left side. Three pointer. Knocks down the triple. Doncic has got 28 points for the game. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. Well, you know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. Lyles down low, working on Vucevic. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. The Hornets making a switch here. Brooks is checked in. Nikola Jokic is checked in for Chicago. At the line for Charlotte, Trey Lyles. And that one misses. The Bulls have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in this fourth quarter. They get it again. Here's Bogdanovich. Good D by Murray. Might like a do over there. Quality look inside. Barrett passes to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Barrett. Puts it up. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Barrett's got four points this quarter. You gotta like the quick decision making from Barrett. Not even hesitating at all off the catch. From 12 feet, again, the bull score. So it's the Hornets now. 17-point game. Gilgis Alexander passes to Brooks. Back to Gilgis Alexander. 
from outside the arc. That's good. Brooks for three. The defense gives Shea all their attention, and that leaves another guy open and ready to score. Here's Stoyakovic. Brooks defending. Stoyakovic passes to Doncic. Fires from deep. And again, it's Chicago with a three. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Doncic grabs the miss. Doncic has got seven rebounds in the game. And the three off target. For Charlotte, they've gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Gilgis Alexander against Doncic. Pass to Lyles. And so the ball out of bounds. Gilgis Alexander touched it last. A sloppy turnover. When you're not locked in, you pay the price. Nimhart, he's checked in for Charlotte. Chicago has gone four of eight from three-point land during the fourth. And again, Chicago, no good. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And it's Gilgis Alexander on the drive, off target at the rim. Nothing's going his way since the horn. I mean, looks like he used up all his makes in the last quarter. Petrovic. Here's Jokic. An easy two on the layup. Jokic has got four points in the quarter. Hey, that's just not enough. A little contact will not bother Jokic's shot. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Three-pointer, Brooks. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Defensive mix-up there. He's the last guy you want to leave open. Petrovic passes to Jokic. Now Doncic, Gilgis Alexander defending. Doncic shot is good. Speedy drive by Doncic. That doesn't quite go together. He usually is going at his home pace, but he does take advantage timeout, of holes Hornets. when he sees them. Timeout call. The Hornets. in our New Balance player of the game, Luka Doncic. And you know what? This has been his game from the start. I mean, he found ways to impact at both ends. And he's been relentless at attacking the opposition all night long, keeping constant pressure on the opponent. You know, some guys aren't the same player on the road. Not this guy. He loves sticking it to an opposing crowd. And it only adds fuel to his fire. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Brooks from outside. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Brooks has got nine points now in the second half. And here's Doncic. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. Pass to Jokic. Here's Stoyakovich. Launches a three. It goes. He's 10 for 13. So much confidence. Whoa. That man is laser focused. Now, that's bad defense for a team that has a long way to go to catch up. They look pretty demoralized to me, and that always shows through at the defensive end first. From behind the arc. And it's Brooks missing. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. 
Stojakovic passes to Doncic. Doncic is doubled. And there's the call on Dylan Brooks. Dylan Brooks. That'll be a second foul second of the game. Personal foul. And the third team foul. A minute 39 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Divac. Chalk up two there. That's simply an outstanding play. Working the size mismatch right at the rim. Charlotte has gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. Doncic against Gilgis Alexander. Down low. And stolen by Jokic. Winning in strong fashion. A relentless effort notches a W for the Bulls. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. We've come to expect big-time games from him. Just another day at the office for Luka Doncic. He didn't miss out on much of the action tonight. He was magnetized to the ball and did everything he could to contribute for his team on both ends of the floor. You know, I really like seeing this from Murray. Looking to get his open teammates involved, being a willing passer is impressive to his teammates. So Charlotte going with almost an entire new group here. Powell, he's checked in for Nimhart. Lyles comes in for Brooks. Lou Dort, he's checked in for Barrett. And it's Alexander Walker in for Jamal Murray. Gilgis Alexander. One shot. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Jokic up top. There's 39 seconds left in the game. Pass to Kirilenko. Doncic outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Offline with a three. Here's Charlotte. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Here's Alexander Walker. Powell in the post. Here's Lyles. Again the miss by the Hornets. Here's Maravich. So no problem for Chicago as they get the win. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Nicola, congratulations on the win. What does a win like this say about your team? I mean, we are looking for each other. We are finding it. It's, it's, uh, when we start playing like we're supposed to play, we are really good. So hopefully we're going to continue to play like this. Thanks, Nicola. Back to you guys. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance Player of the Game, Luka Doncic.